ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर द शेडेड एरिया अबाउट द एक्स एक्सिस सो वी विल फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ दिस शेडेड एरिया बाय यूजिंग दोस टू मेथड्स राइट दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन वन ऑफ द सैंपल प्रॉब्लम सो देयर आर टू मेथड्स वन इज द डायरेक्ट मेथड इन व्हिच the differential area need to be parallel with the x axis and the other one is the uh, parallel axis theorem so i will explain both of these and we will find the moment of inertia about the x axis for this blue shaded area so now if if i take the differential strip parallel to the x axis and if this differential strip is located at a distance of uh, y from the x axis is let's say this is located at a distance of y from the x axis is so then we can use this formula we can write that the moment of inertia of this differential strip is equal to y squares times da and what is y square y uh, if this is x if you want to find the moment of inertia about the x axis then this should be y square since the whole uh, element is at a distance of y and if we want to find the moment of inertia of this whole area then we need to integrate this so we need to integrate this right from y equals to 0 until y equals to 1 we have to add up the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from y equals to 0 until y equals to 1 so we have to integrate this from 0 to 1 now uh, as we can see that the this length of this blue shaded area is 1 meter and the 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 profile of this edge of the area is defined by this equation y equals to x to the power 1 divided by 2 so this end of the area this end of the area has a coordinates so this is at a distance of x this end of that differential area is at a distance of x let me define it like this this is at a distance of x and from the origin it is at a distance of y so we can see that if the whole length is 1 meters then the width of this area this width of this area is this 1 meter minus x so this is 1 minus x and its height is the change in y this is change in y and this change in y we can represent it by dy so now we can write that the area of this small differential strip is da and this is equal to 1 minus x times dy so this is 1 minus x times dy so now we can write this is uh, this is this d and this integration will cancel out so we will have the moment of inertia about the x axis and this is y square and da is this which is 1 minus x times dy and this is from 0 to 1 and now as we can see that the integration is with respect to y so we have to represent we have to uh, replace this x as a function of y so this is given so if i this is y equals to x to the power 1 divided by 2 so if we take square on both sides so this is y square so y square is equal to x or we can say that x is equal to y square so now we can write this is from 0 to 1 this is y square and this is 1 minus x is equal to y square so this is 1 minus y square dy so this is now now we can uh, multiply this y square inside so this is from 0 to 1 this will be y square minus y to the power 4 dy and now if we integrate this so this is y to the power 3 divided by 3 minus y to the power 5 divided by 5 and this is from 0 to 1 and now if you put these limits so this is 1 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 5 and if we put 0 so everything will become 0 so we are left with this this is now we can take 15 as an lcm this is 15 so this will be 5 minus 3 so this is equal to the moment of inertia of this blue shaded area about the x axis is, is 2 divided by 15 and the units of the moment of inertia uh, we can say that the moment of area is meter to the power 4 so this is i of x 
And we have solved this, we have determined this i of x when we have considered the differential area parallel to the x-axis or parallel to that axis is about which we want to find the moment of inertia. Now there is one other method when, when the differential area is perpendicular to the to the axis is about which we want to find the moment of inertia. So now let's say that this is our differential strip. And this differential strip is at a distance of x, right? And it has a width of, this is dx. And its height is, its height is y, right? Since this end is at a distance of y from the x-axis. So this is at a distance of x. This end is at a distance of x and at a distance of y. So the height is y. And now if uh, we, we need to use the parallel axis theorem, so for parallel axis theorem, uh, we need to pass an axis about the, uh, the centroid of this uh, differential area. So let's say that somewhere here is its centroid and this is the axis which passes through the centroid of this differential strip, let's say. Let's say this is the axis, this x dash axis passes through the centroid of that differential area. So we can say that this x dash is the centroidal axis and the distance between the x dash axis and the x axis will be uh, y tilde. This is y tilde. What is y tilde? y tilde is the location of the centroid from the x axis of this differential area. So this is y tilde. So now uh, to apply the parallel axis theorem, uh, we can we can write that the the moment of inertia of this differential strip about the x-axis will be equal to the moment of inertia of this differential strip about the centroidal axis. So this is x dash plus uh, this y tilde squares times dA. This is y tilde square. So this is the parallel axis theorem. What the parallel axis theorem says that if you people uh, if we know the moment of inertia of, of any given area about one axis, so we can find the moment of inertia uh, about another axis and that axis need to be parallel uh, with the one about which we want, we, we, we have the moment of inertia, we already have the moment of inertia about that axis. So we know the moment of inertia about the x dash axis, about the centroidal axis and we want to find the moment of inertia about the x axis. So we can write the moment of inertia about the x-axis and that will be equal to the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis or the axis about which we already know the moment of inertia plus uh, the distance between the two axis square times dA. So now we can write this is, is we know that uh, since this, uh, this is a rectangle and the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis uh, of a rectangle is always equal to uh, let me write that that is d i x dash is always equal to 1 divided by 12 and base time height cube. Now base is always parallel to, to that axis is about which we want to find about which we want to write the moment of inertia. So this is the base for this particular case this dx is parallel to the x dash axis so we can write that this is 1 divided by 12 dx and the height is y so that is y cube. So now we know the moment of inertia of this dA about the centroidal axis and we want to find the moment of inertia about the x-axis. So we can use the parallel axis theorem. So this is dIx and dIx dash is this. So I can write this as 1 divided by 12 dx y cube and this y tilde. So the centroid will be at at a distance of half the length, right? Or we can say that it is at a distance of y divided by 2 from the x-axis since, since the centroid is always located at, at the geometric center of this rectangle, right? So we can say that y tilde will be equal to y divided by 2. So now I can write that this is y divided by 2 square and in this particular case dA will be y times dx. So I will write this as y times dx. So this will become y square divided by 4. y square divided by 4. And if we multiply this, so this will become y cube. 
and we can uh, take dx common from both of these terms. So this is, we have the equation like this. So now we can add up both of these. So we can take 12 as an LCM. So this will be y to the power 3 plus 3y to the power 3. So uh, into dx. So this will become uh, 4y cube. Let me write it is 4 y cube divided by 12 dx or we can say that this is 1 divided by 3. So this is y cube 1 divided by 3. So this is dix. And so this is the moment of inertia of this differential strip about the x axis is in terms of y, right? Now we want to find the moment of inertia of this whole area. So we have to integrate this. So we need to integrate this, we need to add up the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to 1 meter. So this is from x equals to 0 until x equals to 1 meter. And now as we can see that the integration is with respect to with respect to x axis. So we have to write this y in terms of x. So we are given this equation, this is, uh, let me write this as y equals to x to the power 1 divided by 2. So if we take cube power on both sides of the equation, so that will be 1 divided by 2 to the power 3. So we can write this as x 3 divided by 2. So now we can write that this d and this integration will cancel out. So this will give us i of x. And this is we can write this 1 divided by 3 outside of integration. And y to the power 3 is x to the power 3 divided by 2 dx. So this is 1 divided by 3. And now we can integrate this is x to the power 3 divided by 2 plus 1. So we will add 1 to the power, so 3 divided by 2 plus 1 is uh, 5 divided by 2 and divided by that same power which is 5 divided by 2 or we can say that this is 2 divided by 5 dx. Uh, sorry, now uh, now we, we, have, we are done with the integration, so the limits are from 0 to 1. So this is 2 divided by, if we simplify this fraction, so this is 2 divided by 15. Let me write this as 2 divided by 15. And if we put these limits, then this is 2 divided by 15 into 1 to the power 5 divided by 2 minus 2 divided by 15 into 0 to the power 5 divided by 2. So this will become 0. So we are left with this thing, right? And 1 to the power 5 divided by 2 is 1. So this is again that 2 divided by 15 meter to the power 4. So this is how we can find, we can determine the moment of inertia of this blue shaded area about the x-axis using the direct method. And this direct method is applied only when the defined dA is parallel to the x-axis and uh, when the differential strip or dA is perpendicular to the x-axis. So then we can use the parallel axis theorem and we can get that same moment of inertia about the x-axis. So I hope you people will find this video helpful uh, while solving the moment of inertia problems. Do let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning. Also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.